What's happening tomorrow? Puppy. Are you ready for puppy? I was born ready for puppy. You've been preparing your whole life for this moment. I haven't gotten any sleep in in 10 years for this moment. I've been practicing with my insomnia for this moment. Now it all is falling into place. Here we go. We are home with our new baby Schmidt. Say hi, baby. We just got home, so he's not used to the the surroundings or the area. But we'd like to encourage him by coming outside immediately so that he can go potty. So we'll see how that goes. But everything is still brand new. Oh, we got a waggling tail now. Yay, daddy. He's a miniature schnauzer. And um, yeah, we just picked him up. So we want to get him used to the collar first. That is our plan of action. It's nice and warm today, hey? Got his collar on and he's already so with his collar. <laughs> he had some water now. We're going to feed him some pallets. Um, yeah, he was on pallets, so we'll slowly be introducing our um, raw food. So, yeah, guys, I cannot believe the time is here. We have him home and he's already playing. He had some water now. Looks like he's thirsty after the long drive. Okay guys, we're at the pet shop now. Let's get him a quick harness. We brought a puppy. Hi. 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 Yeah, you said you were going to bring him yesterday. Yes, this is Shmet. Is that a mini shop? Oh. Yes. Because <laughs> we didn't know what size harness to get yet. So yeah. we, we, I told yeah. him I'll come back, come tomorrow. He's been uh, his second vaccination uh, this week. Oh, okay. Um, so that's why I just got yeah, we're fitting our harness now. We're doing very well and I'm giving him some treats to reassure him that I love that what he's doing and that he's staying calm and he's still eating so that means that he's not so engaged that he can't actually receive treats so it's a good, it's a good to go so far. Okay. Can we keep this on for Yes, you can. You can keep it on. Oh, <laughs> okay, my boy. It's time for time. <laughs> You've taken well a day. So now the hope is to get him settled and to give him a little bit of a nap because it's been a very, very um, interesting morning, an active morning for him. So if he doesn't take a nap, I think it might be difficult to get him um, to do any kind of extra training later this evening. So I'm not going to reward him for coming out of the crates. I'm going to try and get him back into it. Are you looking for that treat that clown now? Hmm. Good. I'm really happy that we jumped into training mode quite um, quickly because we got home and I was like, okay, well, we did some training and we did the treats and we're feeding him and then everything was done and they were like, okay, what now? <laughs> what are we doing now? And then we put the collar on and then we were like, okay, getting used to the harness now. So we've been doing so much. In such a short time. In such a short time. But I really think that if we just keep putting in time now, it's going to lay a really good foundation for him. Okay, so we have a stuffed Kong now in. it. He is loving it. But I must say he is um, still eating a little bit faster. I think it's just because he was around his siblings and they were kind of like fight, fighting for food. So he is enjoying his Kong now. There is some peanut butter in there. Um, um, dog peanut butter, yes, we we got it from the puppy training school, and then I put some wet kibble in there as well um, because he is still used to the kibble. So we put some wet kibble in there. So yeah, he's loving his food. Um, he's really food driven. But then we we need to um, I think stop with the eating because he's been eating a lot now, and then hopefully he can settle down and um, sleep for a bit. Get it. Get it. And as you guys can see, we also clo enclose that area where most of the cables and the computers are because he ain't getting there. Yeah, we don't want to take any chances. Yeah. yeah. I 
I'm gonna get him into a tug of war. There we go. Look at those ears. And this is a cute toy that we actually got yesterday. It has a squeaker inside, which he can hear, but it's not so noisy for us. Yeah, it's it's a. See it's, how he he just uh, gave me like a look because he does hear it. It's a certain noise caliber where dogs can still hear it, but it doesn't bother humans. You want to get him a little bit tired so that you can have a nap. Yes, yes. The paws are too cute. <laughs> oh. So we are finally settled, but it wasn't in the grate. It took a while longer to get him all settled and we used this toy. It looks like he loves this toy. Um, we're going to watch some TV now. We're just going to let him sleep and then while, while he's like fast asleep, I'm going to try and put him in the crate to wake up there. And um, yeah, then we'll see how it goes. But <laughs> we had two accidents where he went to go potty and it was a number two. And for some reason, he doesn't like the grass yet on the number two. So we kind of had to catch it while it was happening inside um, both times. So yeah, we still need to get into a good routine with a poppy. A potty update, guys. Um, he is going into his crate by himself because he knows that every time he goes into his crate, he's getting some sort of a treat. So I have this little bag of treats here that well, um, some of his pickles stole. Let me just get that out. And then I kind of just scatter it on the floor. Let's see if he'll go in again. Come away. Come away. Come up, up. Yes. Good boy. So, like, during the course of the afternoon, he would just go randomly back into the crate to see if there's more food there. So I'm getting him really comfortable. I also gave him his Kong, as you could see previously in the video. Also giving him his Kong. Look at that good sit um in the crate so he is really really doing well with the crate so we'll see how it goes tonight so guys just a quick update on our progress for the day this is still the first day of having our puppy um things are going uh expectedly well with regards to having him settled in and having him you know explore a little bit um redirecting him as soon as he starts jumping onto things that we don't want him to or um, getting used to his playpen and crates things are going really well there the only thing that's really unexpected today is he is barely sleeping he we got him at like 11 o'clock uh, this morning and he hasn't really slept i think he slept for 15 minutes and i also took a nap but then he actually woke me up um he just you know started verbalizing i wouldn't call it like uh, moaning or anything he just started you know whining a, a, a little bit um and then that woke me up and then he just he just is not sleeping today i don't know if he's not completely settled in or if he just is so excited that he wants to explore or what's the situation but um yeah he's he's not sleeping and you know a puppy is supposed to sleep 18 to 20 hours a day especially being only like eight weeks old so um that's the only thing that's still really weird for me and i just want him to get settled in so hopefully tonight isn't going to be too difficult with regards to potty training things are going quite well we are taking him out every single hour during the day because he's drinking a lot of water i am still feeding him his kibble i'm actually using it as training treats during the day and finishing off um, his daily amount of food uh, which is 10% of his body weight and currently that's about 230 grams of food a day which is quite a lot and I'm spreading it out over feeding him uh, two to three times a day at the moment at the moment but I mean it's still going on uh, so we'll see how it goes and then I'm going to introduce him to some raw food later tonight so that we can start making that switch but yeah, the potty training, we're taking him out once every hour. Um, he's going on, on the grass, but we really just take him to the grass and like we wait for him to go potty and we kind of redirect him to the grass the whole time. But yeah, as I said, like he isn't sleeping. He's, he is uh, loving his crate though. Um, he is, every time like he goes into the crate, he's waiting for food because I've been feeding him some food in the crates as well. So the crate training is going a well while today. And yeah, we'll see how it goes this evening. Um, I'm going to focus on some more training and get him to look at me. We also implemented the clicker. So every time he hears a click, he knows that he's getting a treat. So 
that's one thing that's another thing that we also implemented and um the race the race is going well uh yeah it's it's actually it's it's a lot of fun and i i just i barely i can barely just relax because i like where is he what is he up to um we only gave him access to basically the living room and the kitchen because it's an open plan so that's it the other rooms are all closed and yeah we'll see we'll see how it goes i can definitely tell you now that I think I'm going to have some struggles with separation anxiety because he wants to know where I am the whole time. And I think it's because as soon as we got him, when we were driving home uh, for the 30 minutes that we drove home, he was on my lap the whole time. Like he was very anxious when I got him. So he was he was like dead quiet and dead still. So I kept him on my lap just to kind of reassure him. And since then, he just isn't leaving my side. Uh, he just wants to know where I am the whole time. But I'll keep you guys updated on how it goes. So stay tuned for more. You have your wine there, but explain to us. Yeah, we have the wine. The wine is out. It's time for the wine. Wine time. Wine. Um, but what we also want to do now is, is we want to use some pour balm. Now, the pour balm I wanted to... He's having some water. The pour bomb I wanted to use from early on so that it's just good pour, um, pour pad maintenance. Um, so you can apply it twice daily. I'll just apply it once because we're not going out with him yet. So, come on, come on, come on. Let's see if we can apply it. And what's the benefits of it? So, it's an all natural one, which I love. Um, I love the all natural ingredients with with all the <laughs> with all the. Did you almost say poo? Um, no, the puppy the puppy products is the word that I was looking for. Soothe, protect, and nourish dry cracked pads. Fast absorbing, non toxic formula, enriched with buchu and exceptional results. And what's buchu? I don't know what. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll Google um, it and we'll put down below what it is. Uh, is olive oil, coconut oil, beeswax, cocoa butter, calendula oil, shea butter, vitamin E, um, and then one more other thing. Oh, bushu leaf oil. Look at him. He is so charming. So this is what it looks like. It's not like a super creamy thing. Um, so let's see. He's quite already desensitized. Like he's not to very, touch. yeah, to touch and like me touching his ears and things. Yeah, we've been doing that through the he's day. He's licking, but I mean, he's not resisting at any point so far. And this we just apply to all four of his paws, just to make sure that he stays nice and healthy. Yeah, hey, Bubba. Is that his toy next to you? Uh, yes. This okay. is also his toy. Remember, we, we did speak about this. Is the first toy that we got him. It's actually his favorite. I'll give you your toy now. Just can you just, because I can speak, it's going to pick up on you. Just speak. <laughs> oh, yes. Um... Look at him as being such a good boy. Pampered little pup. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that face. Look at that face. Oh my goodness. He is being such a good boy. He is so chilled. Oh my goodness. And it also it smells amazing. It's not like I won't mind using this for me as well. Maybe for my feet, like a foot bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so yeah, that's it. That's what we're using tonight. Now, <laughs> he's, just, he's, he's just very chill. Look at that eye. No, he's really sad. He uh, wants to go to bed. He's like ready to uh, sleep. Oh my goodness. Falling asleep. So we want to give him his dinner in a couple of minutes, take him out for another potty break. We can take him out every single hour the whole day. And we want to give him then his dinner and then we're going to take the food away, take the water away so that we can prevent as far as possible any accidents. And then look at this paw, just come look at this paw. Um, and then we'll be putting the crate to the test and see how he does for his first night with crate training. We're going to be very patient. And now the time limit that we get, because there will be some whining involved, there will be some separation anxiety. He's completely separated from his whole family. So, of course, you know, he needs to adapt to his I think he's sleeping. Um, and we will give, like, if he starts whining, we'll probably give it a good five minutes, like a five-minute timer. And then we'll make the call if we need to take him out, maybe give him some attention. But we will let him, because sometimes it's good to just let him, not cry it out, but let him settle down on his own and keep himself busy. So we'll probably give it a five minute time. So let's see how it goes for our first evening. 